Yellowstone has half of all the known geysers in the world, around 300 in all. Here, at the Clipsidra geyser, cold water flows into tight crevices in Yellowstone's molten core and explodes into steam. Clepsidra's been erupting almost continuously since 1959. Its plumes of water can reach up to 40 feet, making it one of Yellowstone's most reliable and photographed sites. But the meeting of water and hot stone here doesn't always bring such explosive results. Nearby, the calm waters of the Excelsior Crater seem to invite the unwary for a swim. But don't be fooled. That beautiful blue color means the water is so hot, not even the hardiest bacteria can survive. This same deadly blue lies at the center of what is, without doubt, one of nature's most amazing sights. A place that alone lures thousands of people from around the world to Yellowstone. It's known as the Grand Prismatic Spring. This is the largest hot spring in the US and the third largest in the world. Its blue core may be deadly, but the colorful cooler bands at its edges are evidence that the Grand Prismatic is also home to plenty of life. Each band supports a unique bacteria or algae that creates a color of its own. When visitors on the boardwalk of the Grand Prismatic cross patterns that look like giant flames, they are stepping over descendants of some of the earliest forms of life on Earth. These microbes, called thermophiles, or heat lovers, thrive in extreme environments like the waters of Grand Prismatic Spring. There are literally billions of these tiny orange-colored microbes here. So many, they create dramatic flame-like patterns that look like a work of art that was painted by Mother Nature herself. Getting a chance to experience this colorful, steaming cauldron is why many come to Yellowstone in the first place. But there's nothing like seeing it all from the air.